So more audio tapes have leaked of Donald Trump with the co-editor-in-chief of Variety, Ramin Sue today. In the new audio, Donald Trump brags that all that matters with the media and how easy it is to manipulate the media and news networks like CNN is just get good ratings and they'll do whatever the heck you want to do. It's a really disturbing audio, but look, I know you and I are sick and tired of Donald Trump's voice. So before playing you the leaked audio, what I want to show you, though, are the metrics and the data that actually matters. The ratings that we should be focused on here in the United States of America. First, let's take a look at some of the real ratings that matter like this. Remember when Donald Trump said that under President Biden, the stock market would crash? Take a look at this. The stock market is nearly double under President Biden than Donald Trump. This is objective data we're looking at, but we shouldn't base our economy on the stock market, although the corporate media, every time the stock market would go up under Donald Trump, they'd make that like a front page story before COVID. How about this, though? The rate of job growth has been 40 times higher under President Biden than it was under the last three Republican presidents. 40 times higher. And we can look at objective criteria like this. Let's look at the ratings that actually should matter to me, you, and our fellow Americans and the world. Let's take a look at this job growth chat. You see the job growth under President Biden. You see the job decline under Donald Trump. More Biden jobs boom, outpacing Trump significantly. Let's talk about wages and the wage growth tracker, significantly higher under President Biden. Let's talk about production of crude oil. The United States produces now more crude oil under President Biden than any country ever in the history of the world, while President Biden is still focused on leading the world on climate change initiatives. Oil, gas, and renewable energy production are now at all-time highs under President Biden. These are the ratings that should matter. America is more energy independent than ever. Remember when Donald Trump and corporate media pushed the narratives that Biden's going to destroy the oil industry? We hit a new all-time high on oil production. How about President Biden's Chips, Chips Act, which has revitalized the semiconductor industry here in the United States, creating many, many, many new jobs. Well, the CHIPS Act is attracting an insane amount of investment. The U.S. is now on pace to add more investment in electronics manufacturing construction this year alone as it did in total from 1996 until the passage of the CHIPS Act. Just think about that, that this year alone outpacing 96 to 2006 to 2060. I mean, we're talking 30 plus years. How about this manufacturing boom under President Biden? Total construction spending in U.S. manufacturing at an all-time high. How about crime at an all-time low? Significant reductions in crime when crime was at its highest, objectively, when Donald Trump was in office. How about household wealth? Let's take a look at another chart. Average household wealth for those under 40 in the U.S. is up 49% from its pre-pandemic level. It's what's being referred to as Young America's Wealth Boom. How about this next chart? Primary takeaway from claims data through the first three months of 2024 translates to the best jobs market in the past half century with wages now outpacing inflation. How about what JP Morgan said recently, that the U.S. has achieved U.S. energy independence for the first time in 40 years while Europe and China compete for global energy resources. Take a look at this chart right here. How about this data? How about this chart? Data suggests that the American economy may be on the verge of a productivity renaissance, the type of productivity that the U.S. economy has not experienced since the period between 1995 and 2004. 
How about we look at additional economic growth? By way of a wide margin, the U.S. has the highest cumulative real economic growth of any G7 country post-COVID. Want to talk about more ratings? Ratings? That should actually matter to the American people, we the people. Investment in American manufacturing facilities contributed more to our economy's growth than it has in 40 years under President Biden. And as I said, violent crime went up under Trump and down significantly under President Biden. So those are the ratings that should matter. But here's what Donald Trump says in the leaked audio as part of his interview with Ramin Sudeday, who was writing a book on Donald Trump. He says, you could be as nasty and despicable as you want. Just help the media get ratings, viewers, and that's all they're going to care about. Listen to what he had to say here. So if I went back to NBC right now yeah. to do something, they would do anything I wanted to do. Showbiz was I'm yeah. talking about doing a show, anything I wanted to do right now, 100%. Because one thing I know about that business, and I learned that business better than anybody else can learn a business in a short period of time, it's all about one thing, the ratings. If you have ratings, you can be the meanest, most horrible human being in the world. Mm -hmm. There's only one thing that matters, ratings. Uh -huh. You can be nice or you can be mean. You can be evil, you can be horrible, you can be crude or elegant. There's only one thing that matters, and that's ratings. Uh -huh. If you don't have ratings, it doesn't matter. Lumen is the world's first handheld metabolic coach. It's a device that measures your metabolism through your breath. And on the app, it lets you know if you're burning fat or carbs and gives you tailored guidance to improve your nutrition, workout, sleep, and even stress management. That's why I love it. All you have to do is you breathe into your lumen first thing in the morning, and you'll know what's going on in your metabolism, whether you're burning mostly fats or carbs. Then Lumen gives you a personalized nutrition plan for that day based on your measurements. You can also breathe into it before and after workouts and meals so you know exactly what's going on in your body in real time. And Lumen will give you tips to keep you on top of your health game. Your metabolism is your body's engine. It's how your body turns the food you eat into fuel that keeps you going. Because your metabolism is at the center of everything your body does, Optimal metabolic health translates to a bunch of benefits, including, including easier weight management, improved energy levels, better fitness results, better sleep, etc. Lumen gives you recommendations to improve your metabolic health. It can also track your cycle as well as the onset of menopause and adjust your recommendations to keep your metabolism healthy through hormonal shifts so you can keep up your energy and stave off cravings. Look, I love Lumen and I know you will too. So if you want to take the next step in improving your health, Go to Lumen, L-U-M-E-N dot M-E slash Midas to get 15% off your Lumen. That is L-U-M-E-N dot M-E slash Midas for 15% off your purchase. One more time, go to Lumen dot me slash Midas, L-U-M-E-N dot M-E slash Midas and get 15% off your purchase. Thank you, Lumen, for sponsoring this episode. And then in more audio captured by Ramin Sue today, here Donald Trump talks about how he's he says he's killing uh, Justice and Goran, giving Justice and Goran bad publicity in the press by showing photographs of Justice and Goran with his shirt off. That's what Donald Trump's bragging about. So he's got a bad judge in Goran, but he's got photos of Justice and Goran with his shirt off at the gym. Here, play this clip. And in the middle of our conversation, he received, Donald Trump received a phone call where he asked for a directed verdict and then tried to offer his own analysis of what was happening in New York while he was in Florida. Okay, let's listen. Let me give it a shot, okay. Uh, so they just finished up the trial. We want everything. We have a judge who just doesn't want to let it go. He's crazy. I don't know if you're liberal or not, but this guy is a radical left Yeah, lunatic. he's very liberal, and he's a huh? he's not a supporter of yours. He's a right? political hack. Yeah, he's a real hack. When you look at him, he should have never had the case in the first place. He got it. A very dangerous system. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like very dangerous. The good news is we're killing him. He's getting horrible publicity. Yeah, I saw that. Horrible. This thing with his weightlifting and shit. Yeah. He's crazy. He's a yeah. lunatic. Yeah. And he doesn't want to let it go. 
So that's what Trump is talking about over and over again. Ratings, ratings, ratings. And you take a look at what he posts all the time. They could get a far, this is what he says about Jimmy Kimmel. They could get a far more talented person who would also get better ratings for 5% of what they're paying this loser. This is what he says about Bill Maher. Bill Maher is the worst. He never got it and never will. Bad ratings, a big fail on CNN shot, major case of Trump derangement syndrome, not worth the shot. Here's what he says about Fox. Rumors are flying high that idiot rhino Paul Ryan, by the way, who was the Republican Speaker of the House, hurt his credibility. Fox is going in the wrong direction. Ratings are headed down, and Murdoch just threw certain very good people who were correct under the bus. This is what Trump says about Jimmy Fallon. Can anyone imagine being critiqued by ratings starved Jimmy Fallon, the bumbling, stumbling hostess that single-handedly reduced The Tonight Show to ashes? It's all ratings that he's talking about, but not the ratings that should matter to we, the American people. Why should we be in some bizarro cosplay fascist reality show? Why is the media and MAGA trying to put us in that world? I just want to protect our families. I want us to go about living our lives in normalcy. Remember when Donald Trump said the following about ratings during COVID? He bragged about the ratings that he was getting on those deranged press conferences during COVID while so many Americans were dying. And Trump mishandled and said, like a miracle, it's all going to go away. He bragged about his press briefing ratings and stopped the scientists from doing their work. And he talked about injecting bleach into your arm. This is what he talked about. Play this clip. See you tomorrow. Is that okay? Don't say that I cut it short. They'll say he. That's right. It could be almost tomorrow. But you know what? In the meantime, I'm sure. I'm sure people are enjoying it. Now it's a, it's a. I will say this. It's an incredibly dark topic, an incredibly horrible topic, and it's incredibly interesting. That's why everybody is. Uh, it's. Uh, they're going crazy. They can't get enough of it, and they want to be... And remember when Trump gave that deranged town hall before CNN? And remember what he said, that he was going to give them you know, a, a Trump ratings boost? And this is when Caitlin Collins platformed him, and he mocked his sexual assault victim, and they filled the crowd with MAGA people who were, like, laughing as he mocked his sexual assault victim and talked about pardoning January 6th insurrectionists. This is very revealing about what CNN has become. Here, play this clip. I'll be doing CNN tonight live from the great state of New Hampshire because CNN is rightfully desperate to get those fantastic Trump ratings back. They were ratings like none other, and they want them back. They made me a deal I couldn't refuse. Could be the beginning of a new and vibrant CNN with no more fake news, or it could be a total disaster for all, including me. Let's see what happens tonight at 8 o'clock. And so I leave you that to think about. Which ratings matter to you? The ratings that actually impact your life or being an extra, an expendable extra in Trump's cosplay, fascist, dystopian, American carnage? Decide which one you want because it's a life or death decision. Hit subscribe. We're on our way to 3 million subscribers thanks to your support. Let's get to 3 million this month. Love this video? Make sure you stay up to date on the latest breaking news and all things Midas by signing up to the Midas Touch newsletter at MidasTouch.com newsletter.